Welcome, Adam. Um, today I'd like to talk to you about what's involved in a supply chain planning diagnostic. So can you just tell me what is a supply chain planning diagnostic? Sure, a supply chain planning diagnostic is both a qualitative and quantitative assessment of your supply chain planning processes, looking at your key inputs, activities and outputs. So how do you approach conducting a diagnostic? We look at both the governing structures around the planning process as well as the intricacies within the, the process itself. So the governing structures are things like the organisational structure, your KPIs and your policies that are driving your behaviours. And the detail level is really looking at the intricacies within the planning processes. But it's also important we looked at that from an end-to-end -end perspective to make sure we understand the handoff points across the planning process. And how do you go about conducting this analysis? Well, there's many ways you conduct that, from a light touch health check to a more detailed capability assessment to a more data-driven modelling exercise. What I've personally what found one approach that works really well is a combination of a bit of both. So you might start with a qualitative assessment of the business and then test or back up your hypotheses with a modelling exercise. This can really help drive benefits, identify opportunities and also get the change movement starting in the business. Can you um, dive into a bit more specifics around the certain areas that you look at when you do your diagnostic? Yeah, sure. So one approach we, we often employ or take is the people, process, systems and data approach. So in each of those areas, we assess it in terms of the ecosystem and the uh, key inputs activities within that area. So take people, the people area, and we'll look at things like your KPIs. How are the KPIs driving behaviour? The organisational structure, how, do, how is that informed? Where are the handoff points? What is the process ownership? And as well as things like workload, is the workload appropriate for the team members? Is there an imbalance or mismatch across the planning team? In the process area, an approach we use is a broken links methodology, where you look for disconnects across the planning process, again, as a bit of, as an end-to-end, from an end-to-end -end perspective of the ecosystem. So a good example of where we might find a broken link is uh, within forecasts. The sales team might be forecasting at channel level by product family by month but that's not translating into a weekly SKU location-based forecast, and therefore the business is not driving to the same outcomes. Similarly, parts of the business may forecast in dollars, however, when it comes to the supply planning process, they may plan a different unit measure, like units or tons or, or, uh, or litres. It's important that those links are understood and translated correctly. When we look into systems, one area we look into is latent capability. Is there capability there that the business is not utilising? We also want to look at how the systems are interfacing to each other. Is there any disconnects there? And also, it's important to understand what signals are being sent from the system in terms of messages to the planning team. Are they exception-based? Are they telling them to look in the right areas? Are they, are they flagging alerts and concerns? This is often an area that's overlooked. In terms of data, this is really about data integrity and, and the data that's used to drive the bottom-up planning process. Where this is poor, this can translate not only to poor planning outcomes, but poor reporting to senior management and SNOP as well. So once you've completed your diagnostic, Adam, um, what uh, typically do you then deliver back to your, uh, your clients? What we'd like to do here is to bring it together and build a practical roadmap for supply chain improvement. And that may be initiatives that are both immediate and longer term, but the idea is that this is a standalone piece of work that can be used to enhance your supply chain planning process. In order to build a business case, we will cost these opportunities to inform the ROI process so the business can pursue these and then as individual opportunities or as a roadmap of a larger transformation project. And why do clients typically engage in a supply chain diagnostic? Our clients have come to us for many reasons. One of them may be they're having persistent failures in one area, for example, service level outcomes or excess stock, and they want to get to the bottom of it or the root cause. Another area may be a change in management or a merger of a business and they wish to look for opportunities to consolidate or improve or align the business. We've also had clients come to us where they've had ambitious targets set and they would, wish to, uh, they would like some guidance for how to achieve those, those targets. And I guess lastly, some clients just want to keep improving. They might already be good, but they just want to get better and that's where we, we can help them out. Thank you for your time today, Adam. No problem, thank you.